Hello there, my beautiful darling. I am 5'2". If you're petite like me, your hair can play a very big role in your body proportion. When you're considering the best hairstyles for short women, your height is not the only factor, but it is one very important factor to consider. Because of our height, our head can come across as bigger on us compared with someone who is taller. Besides, a lot of petite women have narrow shoulders like myself, and that can also make our head look bigger. I used to think for my naturally straight hair, in order to add some volume to my hair, I needed to do the perms. I know you probably have never done any perms since high school. I was also trying to curl it at home. What happened is the curls do add a lot of volume to the hair, but I noticed they also make my head look bigger. My head already looks bigger because of my height. So I do not suggest you do that. If you want to increase your hair volume without having to increase the size of your head, one way to do it, I just recently discovered it, is to get a blunt cut. If you cut it straight across without any layering or texturizing, you actually make your hair look thicker and that way your head will not look bigger. Generally speaking, shorter hairstyles are one of the best options for petite women because when your hair is shorter, it draws attention upwards. It brings focus to your face. That is what you want. That is one of the easiest ways to flatter a petite woman. The bob haircuts have been very much on trend for the past decade or even longer, and it's not going anywhere. It's also one of the most universally flattering haircuts regardless of your height and your body shape. There are so many different types of bob cuts. In order to find what works best for you, you need to consider the other side of the equation besides your height, and that is your face shape. If your face is rounded like mine, you can consider a longer than your chin length, and that can elongate your face and balance out the roundness of your face shape. You can also consider a side parting. A little bit of asymmetry on your face will also balance out the roundness of your face shape. If you have an oval shaped face, congratulations! Your face is considered the most balanced face shape, so pretty much any type of bob cuts can look good on you. If your face is longer, that means you have plenty of space on your forehead. You have longer forehead, you can consider any type of bands to balance it out. Or you can also consider a shorter bob that's above the chin length and that can also balance out your face shape. If your face is heart shaped, that means you have a wider forehead, higher cheekbones, and pointed chain. I think that's absolutely lovely, like Reese Witherspoon, and she's 5'2", by the way. You can consider a bob cut that creates more volume around your jawline to balance out the pointed chain, and consider a side fringe that can balance out your wider forehead. If your face is square shape, like Kira Knightley or Jennifer Aniston, you have strong jawlines, you can consider a slightly longer bob, a mid-length bob with textures, and that can balance out your strong jawlines. Besides a bob, another wonderful option for petite women is the pixie cuts. The pixie is even shorter than the bob, so it can draw all the attention upwards and bring even more focus to your face. If you're a mature lady getting a pixie cut, the right pixie cut can immediately make you look 20 years younger because it can make you look so chic and modern. Because a pixie can bring more focus to your face, you do want to be more careful about it if your face is flashy like mine. I have a flashy face and it's never bony even when I am skinny. And especially when I gain any weight, you will immediately notice that on my face because my face will look much more rounded right away. If you are like that, then you want to be more careful with the pixie because that can make it even more obvious. Your hairstyle needs to be in proportion not only with your height but also with your body scale. The pixie haircuts are great for petites because they can make your hair appear smaller and that can balance out your height. 
But on the other hand, if you are a petite girl with a heavier set, if you are a petite plus size girl, then you do want to make sure your head doesn't look too small and that can look out of balance with your body size. Now, here's another very important consideration, your lifestyle. If you're the type of girl that get out of bed and need to leave the door in five minutes, you might want to consider a lower maintenance hairstyle. Shorter hairstyles are great and all, but I did notice they need more maintenance. I've had a long bob for many, many years, and that's one of my favorite hairstyles. However, after I had my son, I realized I didn't have this kind of time to go to the hair salon every three weeks. Besides, it does add up the bills. So if you're like me, you can consider lower maintenance hairstyle. That's why I choose my current hairstyle, the straight long hair. If you're petite, that doesn't mean your only option is shorter hair. You can definitely look good with longer hair as well. And the key is to keep the length in balance with your height. Take myself for an example. I love long straight hair. Generally speaking, shoulder length works for petite women of any height. If you like it longer, I typically keep it above my chest. I have noticed if I grow longer than my chest, like if you were the waist length, that can weigh me down. And that doesn't look proportional to my height. I am 5'2", by the way. When we're talking about a short girl with really long hair, the first person that comes to mind, Ariana Grande. She is absolutely gorgeous. She's five foot tall and she has really long hair. Those are her hair extensions. Most of the time, she has it up high in a high ponytail. That really helps a lot to balance out such long hair on a very short person. If you really like very long hair, I think it's a very good idea to keep it up high in a high ponytail. Besides a ponytail, if you really like long hair, another great option is to consider updo buns. Any type of buns. If they're on top of your head, that's going to vertically elongate your frame. So that's very flattering. Besides, they also create more volume on top of your head, which is what you want if you are petite. Adding highlights or layering near your face is another great way if you are petite. Highlights can draw attention to your face. That always works very well if you are petite. Besides, highlights can also add dimension to your hair and that can make your hair look more voluminous without increasing the size of your head. Highlights can be pretty flattering no matter how long your hair is. I've also noticed if I grow my hair longer and if I keep them black, it's much easier for them to look overwhelming for my height. However, if I get highlights, they can look more flattering on me when my hair is longer because of the additional dimension. We all love volume in our hair, but if you're petite, you do want to make sure your volume is going upwards. And you want to be very careful with the volume that goes this way because if your hair is long and if you got a lot of volume in your hair it's possible they can make your head look even bigger on someone who's short and that can look out of proportion for your height if you're petite you probably already know you need to wear clothes that really fits you but you may not have realized Another very important part of the equation is to make sure you are wearing them to divide your body into the right proportion. I didn't realize this until after many, many years of trial and error. Make sure you watch this video. The best styling tips if you are petite and how to use the rule of thirds to divide your body into the most ideal proportion so that the eye is going to think your legs look longer and your proportion look better.